Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mildra, and I am your gaming monk. I did not want to come back with this kind of video. I don't like doing these sort of unscripted vlog kind of things, because I'm not all that good at it, honestly. But since it's been about six months since the Adventure Conqueror King system review, which I am very, very grateful to everybody who's commented on that and told me what I need to work on, I felt it apropos to explain what's going on. Well, first things first. If you follow me on social media or elsewhere, you know that I'm not dead. It's just that getting down and recording and editing has um, been a little bit difficult because of some IRL issues. And because of that, my muse for video making has not been where I want it to be for a while. Um, the other issue is that, as some of you know, I handle the Wednesday tabletop streams over an RVT. And after I finished The Enemy Within, I wanted to do a kind of marathon of one-shots and minis, leading up to a couple of micro-campaigns, and then leading up to the big, lengthy campaign. And I laid out the plans for this on those channels, the biggest problem that I've ha that I had is the big one, which was Zeitgeist. Because in my ambition, I decided I was going to try and convert what was originally a Pathfinder adventure into fantasy craft. This, along with the workloads from from essentially setting up five or six different adventures all at once in order is something that I don't usually do, and it caused me to bite off a little more than I could chew. Because of that, I have had a few moments of just complete burnout where I didn't want to look at any of my notes at all. I don't like that I went down that road, but it did happen. And since that ate into the amount of time I was planning on working when it came to my videos, I do sincerely apologize about that. That is completely my fault. That said, I have been slowly moving forward with working on more videos. Um, the next review that I will be doing is going to be on Anima Beyond Fantasy. Seeing as it's um, spin-off, I guess you could say Luminous Echo should be releasing in the next few weeks in printed form. I already have the PDF of that, it's just not on the um, queue at this time. However, that was another case where I bit off more than I could chew because I wanted to cover not just Anima, it's not just the core book, but also each of the expansion books as best as I could. Since the English version of the line is currently out of print, I felt it would be apropos to do one big experience. After that video, the next one that's on the queue is a kind of final word for lack of a better term, on Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition, because I did look at the lengthy takedown of my video that Sephiroth Cross had put in that um, part, and while I am grateful that he was willing to rip me a new one, I feel like that's a bit of a rite of passage on my part, I did come to realize that there's a bunch of stuff that I skimmed over, or I should have waited a bit longer before commenting on, possibly. There's also the fact that I was trying really, really hard to not be the guy who just goes, they changed it, now it sucks. That's the last thing that I wanted for that video. But, covering Dungeons & Dragons is not and has never been the focus of this channel. The purpose of this channel has always been to share my opinions, as well as shine a light on games that might have been overlooked by many. So focusing on the game that everybody else is focusing on is just not what I wanted to do with this channel. That's why once that video is uploaded, that final word on D&D 5th Edition, I am done with that version of D&D. I don't want to talk about it after that. I don't want to think about it after that. I don't want to hear it about it after that. I want to focus on the stuff that I set up this channel for to begin with. Now, as far as a timetable when it comes to when those things will be released, that I honestly cannot say. I don't exactly have the best upload schedule, and I freely admit that, but it is something I'm trying to work on because the two-week thing didn't work as well as I had planned. And I'm trying to figure out whether or not I would need to force myself to go back into that or adjust it accordingly. 
As an addendum, I need to explain a couple things that have happened. One, to explain something I said on social media, and another thing to give my thoughts on, because that's been a topic of a lot of discussion, especially amongst people who have delved into internet reviewing in one form or another in the last decade. See, a couple nights ago I made a tweet screenshotting an image from a tweet from Mundane Matt saying, even two years later, I'm, I find it rich that you are still able to make that swipe. I need to explain that. You see, Homer, also known as Heresy Punished on Twitter, is a friend of mine. Some of the stuff that he said, I will admit, is um, stuff I don't exactly agree with and can certainly criticize, but I respect the fact that he has always stuck by me, even when I had some really bad situations like the Encounter Roleplay incident. However, two years ago, he his computer got destroyed in an electrical storm, and he had contacted me about it through an internet cafe, and was resigned to the idea that he would not be able to do what he does anymore. So I decided, you know what, I'm going to set up a GoFundMe and see if we can do something about this. And so I did. But for the longest time, Matt and a few others thought that Homer was the one who set up that thing when it was, in fact, me. And the only reason it's taken me too long to speak about the matter is that he specifically asked me not to when people were taking swipes at him over the matter. Some of it he opened himself up to, but it's more of a, it was more of a pride thing for me. I single out Matt specifically because around that time I had just watched the incident with the cunt stream and how he reacted towards Sinatra and Aiden. And do not confuse this for some sort of white knighting. It's just that it was a bit of a revelatory thing. And I found it very, very hypocritical that he would be so willing to pass judgment on somebody based on their subscriber count or willing to pass judgment on somebody for e-begging when he does so much of that and trying so hard to be a YouTube celebrity. I don't normally cover drama on this channel, but this was something that just... It's irked me for two years, and I just need to get it out of my system. As for the change the channel stuff that's been going on, the material that's been going on with Channel Awesome that several people, including um, Frederick Knudsen, sorry if I mispronounced your name, of Down the Rabbit Hole have covered, as well as Short Fan Otaku and a few others. I, looking at it from an outsider perspective and somebody who at one point entertained the idea of joining Channel Awesome, I find it an interesting contrast that the place I wanted so much to go down to at one point ended up going up in flames the way it has, and all because of e all because of either ego, blatant mismanagement, or just a simple fact of being in over their head and trying to play at being this thing that they're not. Now say what you will about me. But one thing that I will always hold to is that I will never pretend to be anything more than what I am. I know that I'm the tiniest and tiniest of channels. And I'm perfectly fine with that. I know that the fact that I cover tabletop games instead of video games or the like is going to limit my audience. And I'm fine with that. If I wanted to chase what was popular, I wouldn't be on YouTube in the first place. I wouldn't be doing this. But... Seeing the fact that they had the keys to the kingdom, and they botched it, so and even worse, that they, even to this moment, are so willing to try and protect their own hides, is both astonishing and a cautionary tale. And I think it further highlights why, even with all the stuff that happened in the past, which he has very much apologized for, I've always been very grateful for the fact that Shades gave me a platform with the streams with RVT, gave me a chance to show what I'm able to do with the tabletop stuff that I've had in my head for so many years. And even for the 130 or so people who are sub to this channel, or even for some of the folks who just merely watch in passing, I hope that I never take that for granted. 
I never want to get that kind of big where I lose my perspective on things. And if that means I have to stay forever a smaller channel for it, that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Regardless, I do want to thank everybody who's still willing to subscribe to me and still willing to put up with my tomfoolery throughout these past few years. Um, videos will continue on this site. I am not done with this. There's plenty more that I want to do. And I'm also very willing to listen to requests because there's the possibility that some game on the indie scene is something that I might like or might be willing to take a look at that I don't know about. I realize that's a bit of shilling, but I'm always looking to explore. Also, on my personal blog, The Monastery, the Pathfinding series where I've been taking a look at the second edition playtest for Pathfinder's um, previews, that will continue and possibly be a bi-weekly thing up until the playtest books release in August. Then I'll give a kind of final thoughts on it. I will link the Pathfinding series in the description of this video. Also, for those who have also been following the blog, I've been working on a uh, RPG of my own called Japan Hero Chronicles, a tokusatsu-based RPG. That has hit a bit of a snag due to both the writer's block and an issue that I'm trying to balance properly, but that is something to keep an eye out on, on the monastery. But until then, whether it be on Wednesday at RVT or on another, cha on another channel that I happen to invade, or on this channel, I hope I'm able to inform, entertain, and amuse, no matter what form it takes, in the future. And I'm very grateful to anybody who's willing to put up with this. Thank you very much. Have a nice day, and stay frosty.